What's up guys, it's Ultimate Hacker here and today we're going to be creating a wooden clock. Now, I did make this out of old reclaimed wooden pallets, which was totally free. And I just want to say that this is going to be my 200 subscriber giveaway prize. So, if you aren't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Alright guys, so in order to in order to enter the giveaway, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go to my homepage, Sultanate Hacker, and just click that subscribe button. And that's it. You're already entered into the giveaway. Also, make sure your subscriptions are publicly shown. Because out of all of the 117 subscribers that I have, only about 75 are shown over here and not all six all 117 are displayed. So let's begin with the video. Alright, so <clears throat> to start off, you're going to need a bunch of pallets. Now, uh, it could be rough. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, we're going to sand this down. So what you're really looking for is, if you want, your boards can be really thin the wood but what I'm going to focus on is mainly this thick piece of wood so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these off so that I can take this piece only after getting this piece isolated you're gonna wanna take each one of these little studs off so I'm going to go ahead, take my nail, and pry these out. Alright, now, after taking those out, you're going to want to go ahead and take these nails off with any uh, wrench or pry tool. see I took out majority of the nails it's okay if you have some left over like that because uh, well it's just gonna add to that rustic feature so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure every three inches and I'm going to cut it with the saw After creating nine of these square pieces, which is, uh, I think it's about three and a half inches by three inches, we're going to want to create the base, which these blocks are going to sit on. So let's get started on that. For the base, the measurements are, is going to be 13.5 inches by uh, about, about 10 inches. So we're gonna use this piece of plywood, which is about, uh, half a one inch thick we're gonna cut it to that size this is the board it's about 13 13.5 uh, 13 to uh, 10 inches as you see here I marked out where my middle board is going to go so I'm gonna have three pieces over here, three pieces, three pieces, three pieces, middle row, three pieces. So it's gonna be three, six, nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure it out, which I already did. And this is three inches. This is where the middle, sorry, the middle piece is going to go. So we're gonna need a cutout to insert the battery. So I'm gonna go ahead, take out my jigsaw and cut this out. After cutting out this middle indent, we're going to want to take one of the blocks and also uh, cut out the center so it's only the border. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So after doing that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take every single piece of wood that you cut and you're going to want to sand it down with your sander. I made the border so of that so it didn't come out that nice or neat. 
but it's okay no one's gonna really be able to see this unless they actually flip the clock around now what I did is uh, I sanded down every single piece like so and I didn't do the back side it's still rough but as long as the front side is smooth we could still be able to stain over this wood also I cut out this small little piece of uh, wood this pallet wood was actually that wood that was sitting on top of um, the blocks so I cut it off and uh, this is actually half an inch while this is an inch so it's gonna sit nicely on top of this piece of wood now you want this to be about three inches by three and a half the same as this so that it sits nicely like so now that we have all of our wood cut out what you're going to want to do next is get your clock this is the clock that I'll be using now this clock it's really cheap it's plastic it doesn't cost that much you could go to a 9 cent store and buy a clock if you want I got this from Ikea now what you want to do is you want to take out this piece right here and this is going to be the mechanical part for the clock I'm gonna be using this multi tool and a pair of scissors some cheap scissors if you have um, a flat screwdriver then I recommend that you use that but I can't find that right now to recap what we just did we just got this mechanic part along with the battery that was with it and the clock and the clock hands pick whatever side you want so I'm gonna go with the more uh, beat up side of the clock of the board because these little boards are going to cover those chips the back side is not perfect but it's pretty clean try to sand out any imperfections what you're going to want to do is you're gonna want to set up the format that you want it so as you said before the board is about 8 inches, I'm sorry, before I said 10 inches, it was actually 8 inches by 13. My bad, my, my bad. It was actually 10 inches by 11.5 inches. Now, what you want to do for this step is first, take out all the pieces of wood that you have. You're also going to want a 1 half inch uh, spacer so that you can gap out your blocks, your wooden blocks. But instead of making a wooden spacer, you could just simply take the, one of the pallets off of the pal uh, off of the wooden pallets. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna lay these out, and I'm gonna start off from this side. So then, lastly, you're gonna want to take this small little piece of uh, wooden pallet and just place it on top. And this is just the template that we are going to use. So this is what your template should look like before you start gluing and nailing these down just glued everything in and the next step is you're gonna want to flip this over so what you want to do is you want to drill holes so you want to drill in screws so that it supports this even better so I think what you guys should do is put two screws in each hole and the type of screw I'm going to be using is I'm gonna be using these screws now I forgot how long they are and how thick, but you can use any screw that that works with this. So as you guys can see, I just went ahead and I put in two nails for each block. Now, sadly, the middle one cannot get a nail because of this cutout. So this one is just going to have to be glue gunned and make sure you put a lot of glue on it so that it does not fall out in the future we nailed that down so in order to insert this black uh, the, me the mechanical part I had to take the middle piece out so what I did over here was that I inserted it in I insert the mechanical piece into wooden block now I didn't glue it in yet but as you can see there are some gaps around here and that's okay because as I said originally, this is going to cover it. However, I found out that this is way too thick and the handles are not going to go through to this pivot point. So instead, I am going to go with a fake piece of wood, which is usually what is used for like the backing of cabinets, for the backing of shelving. 
which is this. As you can see, it already has a finish onto it. So before I do that though, I just want to go ahead and seal this. You want to take your hot glue gun and you just want to go ahead and seal it around. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue this down again. After your clock setup has been done with the mechanical part right there, all sturdy, it's not going to move. And everything is nailed on. What you're gonna want to do is before you put this on to cover that you're going to want to stain this now if you want to leave it natural and just get a piece of wood and cover it you can do that but I actually for this project I want to stain it uh, I want to give it a clear coat so that it prevents it from uh, rotting if there's any moisture or such you could, you could stain it a different color, but I'm just going to go with the clear coat so that people can easily see the greens in the wood. What we're going to do for this process is we're going to stain the wood. Now, you are going to need gloves. After you have your gloves on, you're going to want to take out your stain. The stain I'm using is this uh, poly the polyurethane. And this is the brand right here. For this clock, you're going to need about three coats and that's if you're doing only um, polyurethane on the clock. If you're doing a different stain, I think you're gonna need about two to three of that color. You're gonna have to apply two to three coats of that color and then a separate three coats of, a, a three coats of polyurethane to protect that stain color. So I'm just gonna set the stain right there and begin. Continue this process after it dries. I'm gonna wait for about 20 minutes, put in another coat, wait 20 minutes, and then put another coat. After those 30, uh, after those three coats, my bad, I'm gonna put the cover for this piece. All right guys, so this is an update on the first coat, on the first coat of the stain. So I just put the first coat on and it looks pretty good. After you have applied all three coats, what you're gonna wanna do next is you're gonna wanna take the cover and place it on top of the parts for the cloth. Now, what we're going to do for this is we're gonna apply some hot glue gun and then place it on top. So let's begin. You're gonna wanna take your hot glue gun and just place some hot glue on the wooden block. Alright, so as you guys can see, I just put on the cover, and after the polish dries, you're going to want to place the clock hands. As you guys can see, to make this clock, it was really simple. Now, to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and once I reach 200 subscribers, I am going to give it away. So, I'll see you guys next Sunday.